So guys, uh, what was getting encouraged from reading the book of James? How many of you guys have read the book of James? Ooh, my favorite book. Very good book, right? James 1, verse 5. Yep. But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But he must ask in faith without any doubting, for the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind and great for surfing. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that last Not time. Not in my version. <laughs> <laughs> it, says, it says in my picture. But Bible. it says, for that man ought not to expect he will receive oh, yeah. anything from the Lord. Being a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Okay, so when we lack wisdom, it says we can ask of God and God will give it to us liberally, freely. He doesn't go, oh, what, you again? Well, did you just ask me something last week? I'm not, I'm not, you know, like, you used up your wish. You're, you get one wish a week or something, or one wish. Every, is that how God is? No. How, how many, how many times can you go to the Lord when you have, when you need wisdom? Is there a limit? Uh, what's the, what's the number bigger than infinity? <laughs> yeah, that would be it. Not infinity plus one, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it. You never can run out of... Uh, you're never going to wear out God asking Him for wisdom. The problem is we usually don't ask. And we try to figure out our problems on our own. That's... You know, we have trials. And when we're in a trial... We, you know, this chapter, by the way... You, you started with the verse... But if you back up just a couple verses... Look at verse 2. It says, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. endurance. And let endurance have its perfect result, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if you lack wisdom, it says, just ask of God, and He will give it to you generously, without reproach, and it will be given to Him. So anyone who's willing to ask can get an answer. God knows who seeks Him with a, with a, a sincere faith. A, a, a true heart, and when we do this, he says, he says, when we go uh, in, in, in getting close to the Lord, he said, sometimes people pray and they don't, they don't get an answer, and they're like, man, I don't know why I didn't get an answer. And James tells us the reason. Someone read James four, verse three. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. So. He said that they ask and they do not receive why. What was the what's the problem with when when some folks are asking, you know, their prayers? God, let me be a millionaire, please. Yeah, make me a millionaire so I can buy all the toys and I can have all the fun stuff. And and he's he says, you know, you you don't get an answer to your prayer because you're praying with the wrong motive. The motive you're praying with is, oh God. Bless me with all my toys so I can just play with my toys. And that's not what prayer is for. You know, when Jesus came to the earth, he was praying to the Father when he was in the garden. And he knew he came to die for us. He told his disciples, I'm going to go to the cross now. And they were like, that's, that's terrible. You should stick around. They didn't want him to go. Why didn't they want him to go? He's so awesome. Like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty. He, he had this crazy ability to make lunch appear. Yeah. Lunch for three years they've been following him and all their meals provided. And they're like, you don't, you shouldn't go, you need to stay. And she's like, no, I need to go. I have to go to the Father now. And so, here's, here's something that, you know, when we get our focus on us and our prayers are, Lord, bless us to, so we can lavish all those blessings upon us. The Lord goes, that's not the purpose of prayer. The purpose of prayer is that you can come to me and ask me for wisdom what to do in circumstances. And do we ever get blessings when we seek the Lord? Yeah, we can be blessed. So, so when, we, when, we're, 
you know, praying, we want to, I don't know about you, but when I pray, I want answers. I want to, I want to see things get done and, and, and receive what God has for me. And it's really cool when you do pray in Jesus' name to the Father, and He answers. Yeah, it is. And, and it just... It's so cool. It is so yeah. cool. It's like, oh, man, this is this works, you know? And sometimes I just want to scream, Hey, guys, let me tell you what happened. You know, this works. It works to ask the Father anything in His Son's name. From the Caymans out to Honolulu The living rhythm is a real